Hello everybody, welcome to Newcastle Fans TV on a special uh, video I've got all the lads here. We just finished off a podcast which will be on the channel in the next few days. Um, obviously the big news this week, which was yesterday, was uh, the John Joe Shelby uh, ban for five games, which is all across the headlines, all major news, Twitter, you name it. A lot of speculation, a lot of rumours about what, what he said, what he hasn't been said. Uh, we're here just to have a little quick chat on everyone's opinions on what what we'll think of it. Um, I'm going to hand it over to Will, and who's also co-presenter at, the, at uh, the channel, on his thoughts as well. Will. Um, well, first of all, if you know it is to be proved guilty, because Newcastle still might appeal. Um, if it is to be found guilty, then it is. I can't defend it whatsoever. Um, you know what the incident involves. I don't think anyone really can. I think some people have tried to, but. Um, obviously it's no avail considering the scale of it um, and for us it's a massive loss because Shelby has been the fulcrum of our team and he has been everything goes through him so you know it is a it would be a, a big loss for him um, for us um, especially over a very uh, busy time with the club any thoughts uh, yeah Shelby massive loss um, of course we've got all of us have got a different opinion what team would play um, after he's um, suspended back again can't defend him for the um, incident he don't, he can't use that kind of stuff like that it's just out of order in football or anything especially um, maybe the fine is a little bit harsh mm. but maybe if they were going to fine him maybe fine him about 20,000 or something and 100,000 is a bit harsh for me um, five game ban yes it's disappointing but it's his own fault for doing a st- for being a st- stupid thing to do I think the FA have used him as a scapegoat uh, to, to, to lay down their mark on yeah. this sort of thing yeah made an example of him basically because if you look across all the different incidents that's happened you know, Patrice Evra Suarez what was that a four game ban or no Terry was, Terry was the four game ban sorry with Antoine Ferdinand and now this has happened you know obviously people who do this sort of thing should be banned but again you've got to have the same sort of thing across all sorts of incidents like this um, it's stupid of him but can you really say he's you know, innocent in these sort of things because mm. you know that he's got a fiery temper people even said it who've played with him previously before he's got fiery temper whether he's a racist or not, that's another thing. I don't want to start say, accusing people of stuff, especially in the line of work that we do. So, But for us as fans and in the club, we're missing dearly. I think those five games, especially depending on how they stretch across the season and the fixture list, they could be some crucial games that we miss, miss him out on. Cool. So um, I'm just going to ask the lads again then. So we'll take Shelby out the side. What do we do with that? Do we mix it up? Do we bring someone out of position to play in that role? Do we change the formation? Will, what do we do with that side now that we've got Shelby out the side? Well, my personal opinion is that considering the run of games we've got, uh, I think we've got Rotherham, we've got Brentford, games like that, I think we should be able to win without John Joe Shelby. Um, However, this stretch of games could include Brighton away. Which, considering the the state of play at the top of the championship, is humongous, and you know maybe it would be beneficial anyway to go with a defensive partnership, which we will have to do now, considering the midfielders we have at the club, probably a Hayden Colback partnership. Uh, however, you know maybe going forward we'll be lacking a bit of something, um, so it'll be down to the wingers. I don't think a change of formation is needed. Um, but you know, maybe we need two strikers, or maybe you know, play around with it a bit. But I don't think any massive change needs to come in. James, um, I, I, I kind of agree with Will on that bit. I don't think there's gonna. I don't think we have to like make massive transfers. Let's go. Oh, Shelby's out. Let's go and sign five players or something. Um, I do think we'll need one midfield player. Obviously, as I said earlier on in the podcast, Michael Cavick would be a really good option. But um, yeah, um, hey, I just think without Shelby, um, I just think we're gonna really struggle. I think I remember um, Fulham the opening game of the season with Hayden and Cole back in midfield. We um got beat one 0 which is worrying. I think without Shelby, we are more 
we're probably more likely to drop points when Shelby is in the team to when Shelby is in the team. So, so yeah, um, I wouldn't say we have to go mad about it, but I think I think as long as we're just um, performances keep performances are going like good, um, we'll we'll I think we'll be fine. I think. I feel like the opposite to you guys, man. I feel like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put it out there. Said, the dreams are over. <laughs> nah, not, not in that sense. I think we just need to, um, almost like a marquee signing to replace him. I mean, we could paper over the cracks and, and possibly put Richie in field. I've seen it happen before. But why would you do that? Because that could cost us points. You know, if we do... thing is, put it like this. If we don't go out and replace him properly... You know, and we lose vital games, and we end up second or even third place. You know, they're only nine points behind. That's only three games. Then, then what do we do? We'll, we'll say this is a key moment in the season where we've had the money, we've had the opportunity to bring someone in, but we haven't done it. So, do we just take it lightly and say, "Oh, it's only five games. We won't miss it. We've got a squad. Don't worry about it." Or do we say to ourselves, "You know what? We take these five games seriously because it could even be more. You never know." And there's other incidents that might occur or will occur throughout the season, and say, you know what, we're going to get someone like maybe like for like, but someone who's as influential as Shelby. I'd say we should do that. Don't don't be around the bush and try and scrimp and save all money. Just get someone in who can do what he can do or influence the game the way he can. Cool. Right, we want to know what you lot think at home. Uh, these two think we should keep the side the way it is. Forty is all about going out and buying the player and get a. A creative midfielder and then let me know what you think in the comment section down below and we'll see you later.